Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my very first first impressions video. I got a couple of new products that I wanted to try on camera and to see how I like it. So if you want to see my first impressions, I've never done this video before. Not everything in the video is new. Some stuff I don't have like a full first full face first impressions. I have just a whole bunch of new products that I'm going to be trying out. So yeah, if you want to see my first impressions video, just keep on watching. Okay, so recently I've picked up this new um, primer. Well, actually yesterday, this is called Turn Me Matte by Hard Candy. I picked this up in Walmart, so I'm pretty sure you can still find it there. And I'm already saw, when I saw this one was for matte, I wanted to try it out. It says Hard Candy Camouflage Mix and Drops Turn Me Matte. It says add drops to transform for a matte finish. So matte mixing drops, a liquid mattifier that can be added to your moisturizer or foundation to leave a matte finish on skin, reduce pores and control for all day wear. Instructions, add two or three drops to your moisturizer or foundation and blend effortlessly. Could it be used alone under makeup or as a liquid mattifier? So what I'm gonna do is, um, oh, yeah, Shakespeare. I'm gonna try it before. I don't really like mixing stuff in my foundation. So I'm gonna put this on my face. It says you could use it alone. I'm gonna put this on my face as a primer. So this should get rid of good. Not really into drops. Oh, whoa. Did you see how thick that was? It has like an alcohol. like a hand sanitizer smell to it i don't know how people would like that so oh i'm gonna put it mainly on my t-zone that's where i get the most oily so i do like the consistency of it okay well my face does look mad i think the lights is making my forehead a little shiny but on the mirror it doesn't look shiny it looks Matt. So recently I, I picked up two foundations that I've been wanting to try. This one I got, well I got them both yesterday actually. This is Rimmel Clean Finish Foundation. This is supposed to 100% poreless. And then this is the LA Girl Pro coverage that everybody you know, raves about. I'm going to try this one on camera. So this it says, looks 100% poreless for a natural even complexion. Lightweight for a clean, fresh finish with vitamin A and E plus antioxidants. It's like a, oh, like a little spatula, okay. Oh, it looks like it's going to match me pretty well. Oh, I like this little spatula. Oh, yes. It's really thick. Oh, but I like that <laughs> the spatula. Mmm. Maybe I'm putting too much on. Sponge. Oh, I think it matches me pretty good right now. I was a little worried because I am tan. And I'm not really often tan, so I don't like to buy foundations when I'm tan. But I wanted to try it. Oh, this thing oxidized. Oh, that's dark. I feel like it's really, really dark right now. Oh, this is going to be a nice summer color. Oh, I feel like it's too dark. Oh, my God. We will see this. Get these ears to me. Oh, man. That really oxidized. Oh, my God. God, I feel like my face is so tan. You see the difference for how it is on my skin and how light it is in the bottle? Like, it oxidized really, really fast and really, really bad. I don't even think I was filming this whole freaking time. Okay. Let me... Hmm. 
So I put this gel pot on and it's um the gel pot that I wanted to film with and it's uh, it's really really creamy but if you put too much on it does crumble I'm gonna try the other eye I'm so pissed I didn't get the other one on film so all I did was put some colors from here this is not new that's why I didn't show it I don't know if I showed it in the crease I'm gonna put this on now when you first put it on it feels really wet and it does have fallout a lot of fallout shit I didn't see it there I find it better if you like kind of drag it. I don't know. That patty motion was not working. Now I'm gonna go back in with some colors. I just mixed some of the um well two of the colors. So I do really like the smudge pot. The only thing is I will use it before um I would do my eyes before I do my foundation and everything because it does have a lot of fallout and if you use too much on your brush it will crumble and the best way I felt like it worked was my swiping motions not pat so that's all I'm gonna do for the eyes because I really want to see how these smudge pots work so I can go get some more colors but so far I'm really really liking it and even though it just was so simple it looks like I did a lot on my eyes hmm. So, so I'm not gonna contour today, but I am going to bronze. I just bought this new warm, this compact by Milani. I guess it's their minerals brand. This is in the color warm. It says mineral compact makeup in the color 109 warm. So I wanna see. Oh, it does come with a mirror and this fluff. Oh, is this a foundation? This might be foundation. No, it can't be. Bronze up my skin. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush. Oh, okay. Just bronze. Well, I'm gonna kind of like bronze and contour at the same time. Like do a little sharp of bronze. Oh, I like the color. It's on the orange side, but I mean in the summer I don't mind that. Wouldn't be a winter bronzer, but. It's really orange. The way it bronzes up my skin, I think I look nice and bronzy and warm. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Ugh. The only thing I hate about Morphe brushes, they shed like a freaking bitch. For highlight, I'm going to use this new thing I picked up. It's the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder. This is in 100 watts. I've heard really good things about them. So let's see. Oh, my first impression on the bronzer was I liked it. It made it looks really warm and orangey, but um, I like it. It's a good summer. I'm only wear it in, with with a tan in the summer. I wouldn't wear this in winter with my pale skin. Oh, I thought this opened. Okay, it's a really pretty color. Got a lot of sparkle, so I hope it's not like really shimmery on my face. Let's open up. Let's see. Mm, looks good. Now I feel like it does look a little shimmery. Like it's a yeah, it does. It looks a little shimmery on my skin. Oh. Oh, blind it. Okay. No. First impression mascara. I'm using this new CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. It says for full, long, and refined mascara. <gasps> this is in blue. It may work. It may work. Blue. Why did I grab a blue mascara? Why? That's that's because I just grab sh shit and I don't be knowing. Like, let's see how blue this is. Oh, this is really blue. You know what? I'm just gonna try it. Blue and purple may look good together. 
If not, I just go over black. Just go right over that shit with black. Lips look crusty. Ah, this is what you get when you just shop and don't look and read. I just was like, oh, mascara. Fucking blue mascara. I really like this eyeshadow look the way it came out, so I hope this doesn't mess it up, but let's see. Okay, so it did elongate my lashes, if you can see. I don't know if you can see, but it did clump them together a little bit. I don't mind that. I like sometimes for themselves like those spider webs, but most people probably wouldn't like that. But I'm definitely going to pick this up in black and try it in black. I mean, you can't really see the blueness. I don't think so. Can you? I mean, I can see it up close, but I don't think you can. What? <laughs> I just got a package from ColourPop. I ordered some lippies. So I'm going to try one of them. I watched um, Jacqueline Hill's favorites video. She was raving about these um this liquid lipstick so I bought all three well she mentioned more but I bought the three that she um, talked about oh mom smelt spelled upside down as well oh that is so cute okay so what color well now I can't go too crazy I got blue mascara on hmm this is in the color Love Muffin, she raved about. I bought two nudes, because I don't really have too much nudes. This is in the color Strip, maybe Strip. Yeah, Strip. And then I bought this really, she had on the in the, her video, she had this on, the little weapon. That orangey coral color she had on. Oh, beautiful. This is too bright. I'm gonna try that. So these are um, the Ultra Satin Lip. I don't have any of these, so I'm gonna try Strip. Hmm. Let's hope for the best. I bought it. I'm loving this color. And it's actually really creamy. I have a, a, little, a few. Well, maybe not a few. I have like two or three ColourPop liquid lipsticks. But they were so drying. But these feel really, really comfortable. On the lips. Oh, yes, this color is freaking bomb. Oh my god. This ultra um, satin lip from ColourPop in strip, bomb. I'm loving it. Got a little bit of the boho lip going on. But that pretty much happens to every single lipstick I wear. Because my lips are super dry. But I'm loving these smudge pop. I'm gonna pick them up in every single color. You just gotta work really, really slow with them and take your time and blend them out because they will crumble and fall. But for the most part, for $3, I freaking love. This foundation, not so much. It oxidized way too dark, way too fast. I feel like um, my concealer didn't blow, blend well with my foundation. I'm not really feeling this. Um, foundation at all it does look flawless though on camera like i'm looking at my viewfinder and my skin does look flawless and in person it does look really good but um i'm not such a big fan of it right now the highlighter um i'm gonna have to wear it for longer but it does it has a little bit of shimmer so if you don't like shimmery highlighters i don't think you would like this but um that primer i think for the most part is working like i don't the lights make me look oh you like i have shine not all you shine but when i'm looking in the mirror i don't see it. i don't see shiny at all so i would recommend it right now but i only use this once 
because this is <laughs> let me see this is an actual it's supposed to you supposed to i guess have like a um uh, it says a natural a clean for oh this is lightweight no wonder i can still see the redness maybe if i use a red concealer under it but um you're supposed to have a clean, fresh finish, so like a natural finish, not like matte, not dewy, just natural, your natural skin. And I do like the way it set, sits on my face. I just don't like the oxidizing, and my, I feel like my concealer didn't blend too well on top of it. I still see, like you could see, like my concealer line, I don't know. But this, I'm liking it so far. So yeah, that completes. And this blue um, mascara, I'm kind of feeling it with this look. Even though you can't really tell, but I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling myself. Yeah. So yeah, that completes my first first impressions video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys would like more of these. Let me know if you want either a full review, like me testing this foundation out, or a first impressions on the um, LA Girl Pro Conceal. So that completes this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Have a good day. Please subscribe, comment, and like. Bye.